Hi guys, so I haven't done a video in a while. I wanted to do a little bit of research uh, more on the social uh, interaction and you know, social norms and things like that. Um, my last video I talked about uh, men going their own way and I've been speaking about uh, feminism as well. And um, there's uh, something that I, that I really need to t touch on and that is the extremes of both uh, feminists, the current feminist movement and uh, the extremes of men going their own way. Um, it's uh, You would find in, in both groups there are extreme people where they can never find common ground and they'll always look for the um, the negative uh, on both sides of the aisle. And uh, then you have everybody else in the middle. And a couple of things that you, that needs to be taken into account when dealing, when uh, looking at videos like these, um, look at yourself as an individual and see where you've been hurt, especially if you're a man going your own way, and um, and how you're coping with those things. And be mindful of uh, of your own self and thought process because when you feed into or you listen to a lot of videos or commentaries that um, that fuel your rage or your anger, nothing nothing gets resolved within yourself, and um, peace of peace of mind is hard to come by in those instances. And um, the same is true you know, with the feminists uh, that talk. Uh, about equal rights for all people, but never, and then in the same breath jump on women's rights, and um, you know, uh, and not allowing people to have freedom of speech, interrupting and things like that when there are rallies or whatever is going on. Um, there are a lot of that. Um, those activities, then you got religious organizations get involved, especially with like the slut walk and things like that. Um, so there are a lot of many there are a lot of viewpoints out there and the extremes of all those viewpoints tend to uh be become disruptive and violent and then nothing ever gets resolved. So keep those things in mind uh especially for men going your own way and modern feminism. Um there are a lot there are a lot of videos out there and there are a lot of people successful people um that don't require uh, that don't really care about either movement. And although I relate more to men going their own way, by no means am I extreme on the situation overall. Uh, I still like being involved with women. I still love dating. I still love, wouldn't mind being married and things like that. However, I have to be mindful of the laws in place and um, that would work for and against me. And uh, I gotta take those things into account. Um, we have to use rational thought in the way we think about things and uh, we have to have a, a some some level of common sense in situations especially where we were hurt uh, for instance um, as far as feminist extreme feminism go I haven't really seen examples of where an individual were hurt in a way maybe a few uh, rape victims and things like that and I, I you know, I support, you know, the fight against uh, criminals that actually commit those acts uh, against women. Uh, but there are a lot of crimes out here and um, it's not just against women. And to call, to, to call uh, a war on men like some feminists are doing is, is wrong. And uh, those and women and men need to be mindful of those things. There's nothing wrong with listening to both the extreme viewpoints, so so people like uh, us in the middle can understand what you know their those point of view. And uh, lastly, the um, the one thing that I haven't seen in in my research and review studying this uh, phenomenon of. Uh, the extremes of, of both uh, po uh, groups is that there's a lack of uh, busyness. It seems like the people involved with these two uh, these two extremes really have nothing going on 
to occupy your mind other than this this uh, these this way of thinking and they actively seek out information on the internet on social media platforms just to find information to nitpick about or to argue over and um, whereas for the most part most people uh, have a busy lifestyle they work they play um, you know, they take care of their families and they, and themselves, of course. And uh, busy people really don't have time, nor do they dwell on those things. Now, ignorance also has a part to play in all this. If, uh, you know, it's, it's good to be busy, but it's also good to be well informed. And I would hope that uh, most of my viewers uh, would would maintain a busy lifestyle doing things that progresses their future as well as their families um, as well as gain get some information from my videos uh, that they can think about and in some cases use but I would by no means would like anybody looking at my videos to think of my videos or my way of thinking as law as law uh, it's just a different perspective and hopefully you guys can take something from it and apply it to your lives or dismiss it um, because my my way of living or my lifestyle is not compatible or even similar to most people and we because we're individuals and uh, we have our own life experiences that's unique only to ourselves so um, you know like the video if you do subscribe and look at some of my other videos. Um, I will be talking about other topics as well. Um, but I really wanted to touch on this particular issue. Um, because the extremes are out there. And um, both sides tend to make some sense. Even though, and again, I do lean more towards uh, men going their own way. Um, but I am also aware and understand some of the issues on the other side of the aisle and I by no means uh, will demean either group uh, I, I am just here to add my two cents I guess and uh, hopefully you guys can do the same or you know take the information you need you all have a good day